In 2011, an academic research study on patellar tendonitis revealed one hidden cause that researchers found to increase risk of getting patellar tendonitis 16 times. If you have this hidden problem in your body, you're damaging your patellar tendon every time you run or jump. I'm Martin Koban, author of Beating Patellar Tendonitis and creator of FixKneePain.com. And in this video, you will learn two proven and powerful slant board exercises to eliminate that elevated risk so that you can prevent or heal patellar tendonitis. I came across this research study while I was reviewing literature for my book, Beating Patellar Tendinitis. The researchers had followed 75 junior elite basketball players over a period of one year and collected all sorts of data. After that year was up, they used complementary statistical analysis and found that players with decreased ankle dorsiflexion had a 16 times increased risk of getting patellar tendinitis when compared to players with healthy ankles. Now, you dorsiflex your ankle whenever you decrease the angle between the top of your foot and your shin bone. For example, when you pull your foot up towards your knee or if you have your foot planted on the ground when you move your knee out over your toes. Now, studies done in other sports had actually implicated limited ankle dorsiflexion as a risk factor for patellar tendonitis before, but this 2011 study really showed how critically important ankle dorsiflexion is to prevent or heal patellar tendonitis. One of my favorite exercises to increase ankle dorsiflexion is a drill I learned from Steve Maxwell. This mobility drill increases ankle dorsiflexion and provides the cartilage in your knees and ankles with nutrients so that it can heal. It's a great exercise to strengthen both of these joints. And here's how you do it. You start out by keeping your feet hip width apart and pointed forward. In the beginning, you can put something between your knees, like a box, a firm pillow, a yoga block, or a thick book, for example. Now, you trace a circle with your knee. Imagine there's a pen attached to your knee and you're drawing an imaginary circle with it. Keep your feet planted and parallel throughout the exercise and keep most of your weight on your heels. You're trying to solely move your legs and you're trying to keep your feet and hips as stationary as possible. Don't let your knees get out of alignment and don't rotate your hips. Once you figure this exercise out, you can do it without the object. A great way to make this drill more efficient is by doing it on a slanted board. When you're just starting out, place only the balls of your feet on the board. Later, you can place both feet on the board. Remember to keep them parallel and pointed forward. Now trace that imaginary circle again and you will notice that standing on the board makes this exercise easier on your knees. Additionally, the slanted board will reveal any differences in range of motion between sides. Usually these are the result of ankle injuries and doing this mobility drill for at least two minutes per day will fix it over time. The second slant board exercise that I want to show you is a stretch for patellar tendonitis that most people greatly underestimate. Back when I had patellar tendonitis, I used it before playing basketball and it always helped me reduce soreness in my patellar tendon. To do it, step on the board with both feet. Your feet should be parallel and you should feel the pressure from the ground in the area I've highlighted here. Keep your knees straight and point it forward. If you can't keep your knees straight, hold on to something for balance like a piece of furniture and pull yourself into position. Lean forward until you feel the stretch in your calves. Keep your knees straight and relax deeper into the stretch until you don't notice any more tension in your calves. Now this usually takes several minutes. If your calves are too tight, you can modify the exercise by placing only the balls of your feet on the board or by stretching one calf at a time. I do this exercise once per day, usually when I'm on the phone or before I go to bed. The slanted board that I use was made by flexandgo.com. I actually had another slanted board before I had this one, but my old one fell apart while I was doing the exercises. So now I only recommend these high quality boards. If you have patellar tendonitis, you need to head over to flexandgo.com and get yourself the most effective weapon to fight this frustrating injury. The slanted boards will help you fix two hidden causes for patellar tendonitis. Limited ankle mobility, specifically dorsiflexion, 
and tight calves. Many readers of my book Beating Patella Tendinitis have reported immediate improvements in their pain once they started working on these two areas. But there are more than just these two causes of patella tendinitis and chances are that you have some other hidden problems in your body that are also damaging your patella tendon every time you move. In my free email course on patella tendinitis I will show you how to crush these obstacles with other great exercises so that you can heal your knees and get back to enjoying the sport as soon as possible. You can sign up right below this video or by going to fixkneepain.com slash tendonitis. If you know someone with patella tendonitis or have friends in jumping sports such as basketball or volleyball, give them a head start on this injury by sharing the link to this video.